Welcome, welcome, Reverend to Chess with TV, episode 192. Today is December, that was fake, uh, December 10th, 2015. Today we're doing something, we're trying to be as crazy as we once were. If you remember long, long ago, we had an episode 7, Crazy Openings. I think it was number 7. And it's very difficult to match the awesomeness of that day. Even though I was much lower energy, much simpler and more subdued, the openings were so crazy that if you haven't seen that episode, you should probably go back and watch it. I think it's episode 7. Might be episode 9, but I really think it's 7. Crazy Openings. So we're going to try to match that today with craziness. Today is crazy start position. So it doesn't even have to be opening moves. It can be opening positions. Positions. And we're going to start today off with something I've tried before. An old chess coach showed me this position, this starting position, and when I saw it, my mind blew, which is why I have no mind anymore. Let me show you exactly what it is. Here's the website we're on, lichess.org. It's one of the best. Here's the board editor that I've got here, and there is the start position. So let's continue from here and take the black pieces. Um, make sure we've got plenty of time. I guess 2 2 has been pretty popular on this stream right now. So I'm going to take the black pieces because clearly being black is a disadvantage when you've got so much going on right now. It says I didn't change the Twitch title, but I thought I did. Um, hi. I really thought I changed the Twitch title. Yeah, I did. I did Twitch. twitch, 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 twitch. I did do that, so you guys are crazy, you people who are saying that. So in this position, it's good to be the starting player because there's so much going on. However, you don't have to be. You can do whatever you want. Good luck. So let's click this good luck button. Uh, do not capture here because the rooks will take each other. So I guess I will capture here. That's my first move, uh, which is not quite symmetrical to his first move. Those are definitely different. Let's find out what happens. So pawns are going to get captured, and then boom, mines are going to blow. I hope I don't lose in one move. So I guess I'll take... Oh, there's so many good things. Mm, I guess I'll take... Mm, uh, mm, there's so many good things to take. So I want to take this pawn. Obviously, I can't. So I take this first, and then I can. Mm, that's pretty appealing. But let's capture this way, because that opens up the queen to take this pawn, if I could only capture that way. Oh, but he's going to take that. Uh, it's not so good now, is it? So let's let's destroy him over here with maybe this move. Oh, but his bishop can take here. <laughs> let's block that with the bishop. So overall, the uh, the mess is over, and we got a very strange position. He's got some pretty dangerous-looking advanced pawns here. That's four past pawns in the opening. Kind of impressive. And they're a little bit fragile, though, so we'll see if I can just pick some of them up. Uh-oh, Thibault stopped his streaming. Guys, I noticed something this morning. It's morning for me that I'd never seen before. That was the creator of this website was streaming himself programming this website. Kind of meta, if you ask me, and very cool. But unfortunately, he's now stopped. Um, move my bishop, of course. I think just here. Because if he pushes, I can take this pawn. So obviously, you try to bring out your pieces as quickly as possible. The difference is yeah, there's no safe spot to do so. Definitely need to block that. Otherwise, that's going to be losing my knight because it was pinned to my king. So if I, for example, played this pretty cool looking move, he would simply push this pawn and then be able to take my knight for free. So this is bad. I will link you to Thibaut's stream here in a moment. So should I take this? Can I take this? I think I can. I think it's safe. If pawn pushes, I just play my rook over. So let's try. And now all these pawns are going to fall, so this is very good. Uh, take, take. Let's go look at Thibaut's stream here. Oh, it's gone. Rahul, what do you know? A challenge from Ron Depp. He's probably including some super strange start positions, but that's secretly what I wanted. I was thinking to myself, we're going to do crazy start positions. I really hope Ron Depp invents something really crazy. Of course, it's probably going to be the same start position because Ron Depp, he's not that creative. All he does is win at chess. That's, that's boring, right? Not that great. Ooh. Actually, winning is, is pretty cool. I'm glad he does that. So this is an amazing square for the knight. Let's put my knight on an amazing square with discover check. That's not discover check. <laughs> I'm kind of silly. Take this way, right? I'll take this way. Which way should I take? Take this way. Should I trade queens first? 
Now, I don't like the trading queen's idea because when his rook comes over here, then he's controlling more of the game. His rook is on this file, his knight is ready to come in. So this move should be safe. I've got the pawn guarded by my queen, so that's another reason to keep that queen on the board. I need to get this knight out. You can see material is kind of even, except I said this knight has to go here, cover this square. Otherwise, queen, that's pretty dangerous. Quite a bit behind in development here. His knight is up on the cool d6 square, and my knight has barely moved, so this is <coughs> this is dangerous. Question from up and comer. Not going to mention what that seems like to me. He says, how much better do you think you've gotten at chess over the last 192 episodes? I can't say for sure because I've only done 191 episodes. And then this one is 192. Let's check that. Yeah, 192 right there. So since I haven't finished 192, I'm not really sure how much better I've gotten. These pawns are so scary looking. Should I counterattack with this pawn? He could just take me here. So maybe take the queen and then do it. I don't think there's any way to stop these pawns. They're way too deadly. So I might as well give him his own headache here to deal with. Ooh. I wonder if king up would be useful. I could take that one. But this one's not a big threat. Okay, so I push and I'm threatening to promote. Um, but then his king comes here, so that's not going to work. I could check him. Let's do this, because this check looks pretty good. Now he needs to play back. Now I'll play up here, attacking his rook. We're low on time now, guys, and you get two seconds every move. Now I'll take this, guarding this pawn. So now I will... Um, I think I'll push this guy. I mean, it's pretty... And I'll lose this rook. <laughs> Losing a rook is my new plan. Lose another rook. This is a genius strategy called lose two rooks. I think it's going to work. Because my pawns are so epic. Lose two rooks. It could work. So here's one check. Nice. I got one queen back for him. And here's a second queen. Oh, check me. Oh, no. I only got two queens. I wanted four queens. What about these four pawns? They never got to promote to glory. That was an epic trade of two rooks for two pawns in order to win the game. Have you ever, in 192 episodes, seen two rooks trade for two pawns just voluntarily? I mean, I could save my rook, but nah, don't need my rooks. Voluntarily, not... Okay, this isn't that voluntary. Not doing anything except trading rooks for pawns and then double promotion for the win. That was a unique ending, and I kind of enjoyed it, so I have to say GG to that. He may have had a way to stop the promotions, but I don't have time to find out because I want to go see what rondep has got cooking. This headache in a bottle. Uh, uh. <clears throat> I noticed I didn't answer that question. How much... How much better do I think I've gotten at chess over the last 102 episodes? The, the answer 192. Um, I'm going to pretend you said 191 and a half. And I'm going to answer that by saying I think I've gotten just a little bit worse. Maybe 100 rating points worse in that year and a half, two years-ish. Not quite two years, but more than a year and a half. Well, it's about a year and a half. Yeah, it's a long time to get worse at chess. So this looks very interesting. Four rooks. So I'll just send him a colon O, which means I'm surprised. And two queens. Four. So there's double of all the pieces here. Except for pawns, there's just one extra pawn here and here. Because that totally makes sense. In addition, king stuck in the center can't castle. So it's a very dangerous position for the kings. So I want to rip open this position and checkmate him. And so let's start with a move like this. I've got a print, plenty of protection here. Uh, guarding it. <laughs> That's a lot of things guarding it, so there's no worries there. Um, I want an open file for my rooks, so let's take that way. Did he really invent this himself? This is amazing. I'm not sure how to open that any further. I'm already down. Oh no, now I'm losing the exchange. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to watch what I'm doing, I guess, because I've already lost a bunch of stuff. Oh, look at that. That's not guarded either. Don't tell Rondep about that one. <laughs> he takes it and forks some of my rooks. I got plenty of those. Don't even worry. 
So this is a good spot for the knight, I'm now seeing. And look at that, I can do the same thing to him. So this is <laughs> not perfect play. Oh, there's a pawn attack yet. Man, Chespa's blindness is worse than usual today. Hmm. Mm, pawns move diagonal? I didn't know that. I didn't move diagonal. That's stupid. Okay, so I've lost the exchange, I've lost a pawn or two, and I've lost a knight. So that adds up to an entire rook. So I better make some tactics against his king here, otherwise I'll just flat out lose. Which is what I'm commencing right now. This doesn't even look hopeful for me. I guess I could push this pawn. That would be a pawn fork. That would be pretty good. But the rook is attacking this bishop. Let's scare that rook. And then push the pawn. I can't just push now. I mean, take. The queen is overloaded on these two items. So then he could sack his rook for the bishop. I take and he captures my knight this way because my knight is captured in. Uh, is that, are you following that? Does that make sense? Queen can only do one thing at a time. So thinking that it can guard both of these squares is a little optimistic. Queens can't do all of everything at once. But I've saved the bishop. Now he's got something in mind, but I think I'll take a free rook. Yeah, that would have been a mistake on his part, I think. Because I could just take that as well. <laughs> um, I will, and then I'll push. Because this rook is trapped. Which I can now take. Save the queen. Ooh, Carlson's playing Anish right now. Ooh, that's checkmate. Hope he doesn't stop me. What? What? You can castle? I didn't know that. That's not even. Ooh. Well, that's it, like super weird, 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 weird castling. It's quadruple weirdness. So how many attackers do I have on this thing? Three, and he has one, two, three defenders. So I should not take it. <laughs> that's my conclusion. Should not take it. Let's play bishop here. Looks pretty good. Kind of slows him down a little. Never mind, it's kind of bad. Better protect that bishop. Mm, this move. Mm. Oh no, it's okay. I could take it. Oh, but that move. Oh, he has a lot of dark square bishops. <laughs> way too many. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting out of here with this piece. Queens. I'm only defending with queens. It's not enough. Why did I walk into this pin? Is there anything interesting I can do? Um, no. So I guess I'll give up that piece. <laughs> very, very sad. Let's get the queen off of that deadly diagonal. I think I'll castle as well. That was a really sad turn of events. I thought I was doing great, and then I'm not. So I've got two rooks against his one. I've got two bishops against his four <laughs> and I've got two queens and then the pawns here one two three four five pawns against six so I'm down one pawn and he's got two bishops for a rook hmm so I'm down quite a bit but I could start attacking his king fiercely at this point bishop e4 and then rook f6 yeah bishop e4 did not work when I had my queen well after I played my queen up because he could take with bishop bishop and then he takes with queen. He never uh, takes with this pawn. I did see that sequence Kesky pass where this pawn is pinned here, but I've got problems with uh, making it happen. But now I can make it happen. Now I can. The problem was he had these defenders and I just didn't have enough attackers. I think. Maybe I missed something obvious, but this is what I think. So this turned out to be a long game of chess because there's so much on the board. There's a intermezzo right there, but I can play these moves. My queen is guarding that. And I think this is pinned. And he's also pinned to this check. 
hit a pawn. The pawn is pinned here. A typical play in this position is h5 from Zug Addict Fan. I miss Chess's fan. I don't think he ever existed. h5, yeah, that's a good way to crack this pawn chain. Um, when there's a pawn guarded by a pawn, you want to attack the defending pawn, not the defended pawn. Because this pawn here, it ain't no, no going nowhere. Because this thing is just going to make it so rock solid, right? But if I attack the base, then it won't be so simple for him. So what if I take this right here? I lose my queen, he loses his queen. That seems fair. Yeah. I don't see any downside. Do we have a problem? I could block this with my bishop again. <laughs> uh, I don't think that would be very wise. So, oh no, oh no, it's like checkmate. Oh no, my king can't move, so I have to block, and this would lead to checkmate. And so maybe I will block with a bishop, this bishop. I did not see that I couldn't play king up. <laughs> Blindness again. So now I'm in a super bad pin, even worse than the last pin. So my only move is to escape with castling. Woot, I'm so cool. Because uh, I've got a queen under attack, and meanwhile he's attacking my queen. Very deadly moment to castle. It's a good time to castle. If you're ever wondering, when should I castle? The answer is, when you're attacking your opponent's queen and he's attacking your queen. That's a great time to castle. So now we've traded some things. And we're looking at uh, two rooks against three minor pieces. So this has been not improved. This is now worse. Mm, rookie two. Yes, I like that kibitz. Rookie two would have been good, pinning the knight. I'm down a lot of material. So I need to mount an amazing offensive with my rooks and queen here. Using that h5 move that was mentioned to me in the chat, of course. Play there. Maybe this is useful. I do not have time for king h1, rook g1. It's just way too slow. Meanwhile, he could, you know, take this pawn and then uh, suddenly he's guarding g6. So it's just not enough. Let's play that h5. Hey, there's a free knight I should probably take. Oh, it's not free. <laughs> Blindness continues. Push. Oh, that's not useful. No, it's going to check me there, make me there if I do that. It's not just check, it's check me. I think I have to just resign this. I can't find a way to make this pawn anything but useless. I give up. I just have to give up. I mean, one rook against three pieces is quite a disadvantage. Maybe it doesn't feel like much, but it is a lot. It's four points. It's more than a piece advantage. GG, I'm really hoping that this next board here from GM Edwin is more reasonable. And I would say not. I would say not. But after that last headache, I will try it. So, oh, am I blundering anything here? No, that's totally defended. So I think this is going to be an obvious, oh, it's his turn. An obvious draw. Oh, oh, good luck. Have fun. Um, because we're just going to trade knights, but maybe there will be some knight tactic, some nice t tactic, trying to work a pun in there, not really succeeding. I think there won't be any tactic. I think this is much too simple, but we'll find out. There's a famous quote from Andre Philidor, very old quote because it's a long time ago that he uh, said this. He said, pawns are the soul of chess. And by that, of course, he meant, I'm in the 1800s and I'm trapped, help, there's no vacuum cleaners. Actually, something like that. But he also was saying if there's no pawns, there's not a lot to do in chess. Pawns really give the advantage and disadvantage. Mm. Let's bring out these knights here, I guess. The advantage and disadvantage to a position because pawns could threaten to promote. Pawns can lock up a position. Oh, I think I got a free knight. Okay, there is that, but he messed up. I think if he had just taken my knight back, he would have been fine. But now I'm ahead of knight. Of course, a knight isn't enough to checkmate, so we'll have to see if I can convert that to a win. But it's a good start for sure. 
if I push you, go here, am I a problem? Yes, I'm a problem if I do that. So let's uh, take, no, I'm not a problem because I've got these two defenders for this and these two defenders for this. So I've got those and I've got those. So that's fine. So I'm okay. I thought one of my knights was overworked. So a position without pawns is just, it's open because there's no closed up files from pawns that are locked. There's no threat of pawn majority for a, a past pawn. There's no, it's like there's nothing left once you take away pawns. Is this another free knight? No, not quite. Not even close to quite. Let's go checkmate the guy. Well, yeah, this one, this knight. He's kind of stirring up action over here near my king. Why don't I stir up action near his? I don't think anything will come of this. I mean, just a bunch of knight trades. Even though I'm ahead of knight right now, because I have 7, 14, 22 knights against his 7, 15, 21. Because I'm ahead 22 knights to 21, which is an obvious advantage. I'm still not winning. I think this is safe. <laughs> kind of scowling at this thing. I don't want to take his knights. If I do take these front knights that I could take here, then he'll recapture with back knights and then he'll be more advanced. So I just have to kind of advance toward him and make him capture me, which will draw my knights out into the battlefield. That's my plan. Um, we'll see if it works. This knight should be made active. Perhaps I should move this knight. Yeah, see, I can't move it safely. Maybe I should have played it to there instead of this one. That probably would have been smart. Because these two squares are much too dangerous. Well, this is definitely unique. And not much else. Any free knights now? Let's bring this in. Cool. I brought my knight off the back right. I don't think I'm hanging a knight, but it's very difficult to calculate everything here. Uh, I think I'm okay. This is weird. I don't want to get checkmated, so I better watch out for. Yeah, it's not even not even a threat. Not even dangerous. It's a 5-0. Also, there is no increment, so there's also the time risk. You know, we've got plenty of time right now, but as time goes on, so to speak, it will become more dangerous. This move looks safe. One attacker, one defender. I've got this defense here. I've got this defense here. This defense here. This defense here. Everything's looking kind of good. Um, I don't know. If you're just tuning in, you might wonder why I'm doing this. This is not my fault. GM Edwin designed this position, and I'm just kind of going along with it right now. This is rough. Let's go here. I've got two attackers on this knight. And I've got one attacker here. Hey, that's knight. Oh, it's guarded this way. I think I'm safe this move. I think everything is well defended. We're, gonna, we're about to find out here. It looks like he's initiating some trades. I should play my king up. That would help a lot. Because then I could... Because then I could play uh, some of my knights in protected by my king. Yeah, that's a good plan. I think my strategy is to run him out of time. There's no increment here. And this knight can go here. These, th there's two attackers on this. And this guy is needed over here. So that leaves this one and this one. If I pull those out, yeah, there's nothing. There's probably a knight hanging on this board somewhere. Yeah, I think there is. This guy's only defended twice, and it's these two, but this knight is overloaded, guys. Look at that. This knight right here cannot do two jobs at once. It cannot guard both of these. So we're going to have something called mutual dis mutual destruction, which is where we go on counter capturing rampages. Okay, you capture me, I'll capture you. Should be interesting. I want to capture with check, so that means I want to take one of these, which means I want to take... Uh, how do I get there from here? Oh, it's over. 
before we even started. So that means I'm ahead two nights, I think. I've got four, eight, 11, 14, 18 nights, if I count correctly, and he has seven and sixes. Seven and six is 13, and three, 16. Yeah, I'm ahead two nights, so this should be enough for the win. Let's defend that with king. move. Hopefully I don't get checkmated. Really hoping I won't get checkmated here. Oh. <laughs> Let's bring back some defense. Two knights alone can't mate. I better get a third knight advantage. Good point, Rondep in the chat. Good point. I better get a third knight here. I feel like I should take some things. Probably missed a free nine right there. One minute left. We are going to have a time scramble. There is no doubt. There's just way too many knights still on the board. So he needs to play this very carefully. I've got three attackers to that. He's got three defenders, and none of those knights are overloaded. So I guess I will just capture one and then bring this one in. I'm totally safe. Is this a free knight? No. So let's bring this in. So this guy is critically guarding here. So those are the two defenders for that knight. Oh no, three attackers. No, I'm okay. Three defenders there. And then meanwhile, everything else is well defended. So let's capture toward the center, as the proverb says. And this way. It's going to be a time scramble, 40 seconds. Let's tell him to hurry. Oh no. I left that undefended. See how this goes. 30 seconds. He's going to run out of time. He is totally going to run out of time. Ooh, pre move. Nice. Oh, he's getting quicker. Oh, I got a knight back. Nice. Oh, the king is on the ovens. He's definitely gotten quicker. Oh no. How do I get past? Oh, I don't. He doesn't checkmate me. Duh. Oh, another free knight. Yes. Oh, another free knight. Yes. This should be enough. I think I can win with this quantity of excess knights. I don't know. This kind of degraded into kind of a weird game, but let's do this. Let's just finish him off with this nice advantage. Oh, he resigns. I was really working up for my five knight checkmate. I don't think I've practiced this. I'm not sure if I'm able to checkmate with five knights. So maybe I would fail to checkmate. It's very different. So we've got some Keski Pass challenges. And by that, I mean one of them. Instagram, Louisiana, and Meta Margo. Rondep, I'll take a look at your position. But since we got to play before, this looks terrible. At least I'm white. I have to do this. I'm like, what in the world? Okay, I'll just go beat you really fast. I wasn't going to give you a chance to play, but with a, with a position like this, of course I'm going to. Do you think there's a problem? Of course I can beat you. i got to get my rooks over to you. Do you think I can't win? Maybe I can't win. Oh, my king is in the way. I think I can win. I think I can win this. I wonder which corner I need to get him into. Okay, he's trapped in these two squares. <laughs> this is kind of fun. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you, this is my hand motion for. If you, oh, let me turn off this light. There we go. Now we're in the dark. It's more like it. If you are going to set up any position to tempt me, this is probably it. Give yourself a king and give me a thousand bishops. Probably tempt me. And checkmate. 
that was an interesting exercise for sure. So we've got four, and they're all reasonable, reasonable options, but they've been scrambled, so I'll take the top one. Um, oh, this is an interesting position. I'll try it. I'll try it. I don't have a lot of time. Let's play quickly. Smiley face, tomato margo, just because um, there are three other guys who have made some really creative positions, I'm sure, and I don't want to miss the out on them because the the creativity of the chess with TV viewers knows no bounds. I'm so glad Rondep gave me all those bishops because if he had given me a lone king, I wouldn't even have played that. I would have just said, I don't even care. Even if I can't be checkmated, I don't want to spend 50 moves not being checkmated. That doesn't seem fun. I'm not sure if half fun okay means I'm never going to move, but if it does, that would explain what's going on right now. Oh, it's my turn! Oh, apparently white starts. Okay, Chess's blindness is not over yet. Uh, I'll play the first move. How about that? Kesky Pass says, Brilliant discovered checkmate. I've made a special position for you, so we don't want to miss Kesky Pass. Uh, by saying that, he's increased the chance that we will play his position. This is really dynamic position because I've got some baby queens here. He's got some baby queens there. So it's like a race. But meanwhile, our kings are behind that. So if we push the pawns out, our kings will be completely exposed. And you know what we're looking at right now is uh, a chessboard. Not only that, but with so many pieces on the board, queen, knights, bishops, even a rook, it's not safe to open up your king yet. Normally when you've got passed pawns like this, there's not much left on the board and it's safe to help with your king, but with all of this power on the board, it might not be safe here. It might be a little dangerous. Mm. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyway. I mean, I can't resist the opportunity to make a lot of baby queens. Unfortunately, I'm kind of frozen up. There we go, there we go. I couldn't push because I was gonna lose this pawn to his rook and my bishop was blocking that move. But now with that quick trade, we are looking at rolling forward again. So I'm way ahead in the race with my five pawns all on the fourth rank or higher. It's gonna be a quick win, I think. But uh, there's always the danger of something unexpected happening, like getting checkmated. I do want to use my knights here, so let's trade knights. I'm really pleased that he's moving pieces, because yeah, his pieces trade with my pieces, but he's making a bigger investment in them. Let's go here, because I don't want this move to be played. This is fine. My knight's doing a great job covering that square, so he really doesn't have any good spots right now. Yeah, he's maneuvering pieces, which, you know, he's not investing in his future. To do that, he needs to promote pawns. Let's make it happen. I could play my knight up. I think that might be a good investment in the knight. Ooh, because it would uh, cause some trouble. I could get this knight going. Because right now, I'm playing without this knight. It's doing nothing. So let's bring this knight around. Oh, oh yep, there's another good reason. It's discovered defense on that pawn. Yeah, this is much better for me because my pawns are much scarier. Now I've got this move. The knight protects this. No, it doesn't because <laughs> of this. Oh, yeah, it totally does. Never mind. Don't worry. I got this. Ah, bishop here. Very good move. Nope, it's not. I'd lose this pawn. Um, push. I want to push so badly, but there's nothing I can push because of this attack. No, I guess I could play that. Yeah, that's an interesting choice. Defended by the knight, and then I'm free to play these up. And that's going to be deadly for him. I can, of course, take this knight at any time. Would that help? I don't think that would help. I mean... It might actually cause me a problem with this bishop discovering back right, right back at me. So I think, <clears throat> I think this is safe. Okay, so I'm gonna push here safely. Oh, what a deadly march of pawns! I was on the right track, I think, by moving my pawns forward. Just keep rolling them. I can push this as well, which will allow me to push this, which will allow me to checkmate him in not very long. Let's do this. Oh, I've got this free pawn as well. I should take that. Oh, I can't. Should I sacrifice my rook for this knight? I kind of want to.
want to. I really kind of want to. I'll do it. Because it gains me some time in my epic promotion skills. So I think he'll sacrifice on this pawn. I think that would be his best move. Oh, he does not. Okay, this makes this pretty deadly pawn blob for me. Uh, knight here. Oh, you want to use all your pieces. Don't rush anything. Now, I should probably just promote, but he'll take my knight if I push once. So let's play the knight here, defending the knight. And now I can just promote. Pretty straightforward. It's hard to guard that queen square, though. I mean, the knight has two options. It could move to d6 or g9. Neither of those is a workable solution for me. Oh, that was an interesting move for sure. Uh, this calls for the Intera Bang, but I don't have it at my disposal at the moment. It's not in my garbage disposal. Don't you need to resign? Yes, you do. Okay, so let's play Kesky Pass. He talked to me in chat, so let's see what he's got. <laughs> what? What in the world? Um, is he going to just take a free bishop on the first move? That would not be cool. So this calls for a colon O as well. Uh, <laughs> I think this is just a free bishop, so this is kind of a stupid position. Although the knight could take this bishop for free. So let's not, over, let's not become overzealous. So this is more along the same vein. We have uh, some passed pawns here, five to be specific. A little unusual to have five passed pawns. I tried to make it masculine just for you. Oh, I see, because it's Star Trek. Each of these is like a spaceship thing. How do you draw? Oh, I can't draw anymore. Oh, that's too bad. Um, a spaceship shape, see? Because this is the Starship Enterprise right here. So cool. I really like the way you designed two spaceships flying past each other. Are you going to move now? Hurry. We have more creativity to look at. We have one from Instagram and one from Louisiana. And I'm definitely going to go Instagram next because he was so kind as to... Oh, yeah, definitely have to take that bishop. He's so kind as to... Uh, play a really really fast time control one and a half minutes no increment so we're going to honor that activity with the first save the bishop whoof whoof save the the pieces that were hanging out there just in time with the first game all right is that a free bishop is it a free a flea bishop of course not let's play back here so this is going to be another pawn race there's not as many pieces on this board uh, let's let's not play that. It's too too risky. Uh, let's capture. Yeah, this is fine. My nose is itching today. Um, this is definitely a pawn race with fewer pieces, just a queen, rook, and bishop. There is much less risk of checkmate, so the king can, I think, be quite bold in assisting in the promotion. So let's do this. Oops, oops, I think I'm hanging that. Yeah, he can, he can get the exchange here by taking that, but he does not. So, but we have a bit of a problem anyway. <laughs> With an attack on a pinned bishop that cannot move. Oh, oh I've definitely caused a problem. Push there kind of fancy way to get my pawns going. Bishop back is going to guard this ugly pin just in time. Oh, look at that. And a tempo. Promote the H pawn. I like that advice. No, nope, I can't play king up because he'll take this bishop for free. So let's just keep pushing. Uh, that's free. Yes, a blunder! And now we can move on to the next position, right? The bishop is guarding it. Yes. 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 I got you. I got you. You're the smartest in this game. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Second place is pretty good. Ah, don't play that. I've been having a lot of blindness today, so you really shouldn't feel bad. Yeah, that pin was so great. If I hadn't noticed that the rook was free, I would have been crushed. Oh no, he's going to push with discovered check. 
He should resign, though. Let's make some queens here. How many queens should I make? Maybe two. Two's probably enough. <laughs> Waiting. Okay, I'll take this pawn first. Then I'll pre-move the push. Because the only reason the push would not be good would be if he pre-moved a queen sacrifice, or rather played one, because uh, then he would take my queen after I push. That would be bad. All right, we're going to go with Instagram. He's so French. Next time I'll beat you. Yes. T-L-H-F, and for that I mean good luck and have fun in the next game we play, which might be never. Whoa, mind blown again! Not only is this position as crazy as crazy can be, but there's also no time on the clock. Yes! Now that is a chess position. Okay. That, that one is on purpose, by the way. So I think I'm the white pieces. I could be the black. Let's flip the board and take a look. I think I'm still the white pieces. Okay, yeah, chess was white, so that means these pawns are all about to promote. So his king's over here. So I can't quite checkmate him, but maybe I can almost checkmate him. This is fascinating position. Um, I could move the knight with discover check, but he would take my queen and promote to a queen would be quite a counterattack for that. Maybe I should take this with discover check. He would promote to a queen while taking my rook. Oh, fascinating. So I don't seem to have any checkmates there. So let's uh, so let's start by promoting this way because that'll defend the rook. I mean, it's really nice having the white pieces. And now let's play here. Is that checkmate? Yes, I'm pretty good. I am pretty good. Let's rematch you in this position, see if you can do better than I just did. That was, uh, that was, uh, rather, oh, he's left. That was an anticlimactic ending. I mean, I'm absorbing this cool position for five minutes, and then I play for five seconds, and it's over. That's kind of sad. I wonder if I can click this, custom starting position. I want to play this again with another friend. I'm going to throw this in the chat, guys. I'm going to take a random color, hope it's white. And anyone in the chat can click this thing and play knight takes d2 checkmate on their first move against me, apparently. <laughs> uh, okay, so you got the white pieces this time, so is knight takes d2 checkmate? Oh, it is. Well, that's kind of a dull outcome. Keski Pass is going to beat me, I think. My revenge, or can I let another viewer? Here is your revenge. Revenge? It's from the Andy Griffith Show. I love it. R E V E N G. Revang? I know how to spell revenge. Just move. <laughs> Don't play knight takes d2 because I have an idea. Knight takes d7. We just checkmate also. Good kibitz there. Uh, is that going to be checkmate? That looks like checkmate. So there is a mate in one for you, and I hope you don't see it. Let's play that right now. Bam! <laughs> LOL to you, or just LO for short. Okay, that's enough of that position. That was uh, interesting, and so is this. So this is a very beautiful position. It reminds me of the old game Nibbles or Worm? Snake. Snake is the game, although there was one called Nibbles as well. In that game, there's like walls, and you move around and try not to hit the walls while you eat food that makes you longer because you're a snake. That game was great. I loved Snake, and this really looks like some snake walls. It makes me want to go play Snake right now. Um, let's see if I can checkmate him. Uh oh, actually, I might just get myself checkmated here. This is a dubious position. Very dubious. <laughs> I'm going to play one trade here. And then guard this. <laughs> because there's a lot of ways to lose. Like, for example, oh, I didn't even think about this. Like, the check and then take this pawn could have been really deadly. So I think a little bit of defense might be worthwhile here. I got problems. Look at that. Rook there. Double attack on this pawn. I've got to be more defensive. Okay, so this is just going to be a boring rook ending. Talk about boring. Talk about rook ending. If you guys have any ideas for cool star positions, feel free to challenge me. As soon as I finish this game, I'm going to take your challenge, unless there's someone else who I'm more interested in than you, which could be possible because I've never heard of you. But it just kind of got to be honest, right? Got to tell you what's going on in my mind. And this is 
Just a boring rook ending. I mean, this might as well just be a chess position. The interesting part is the king's slightly trapped here. Slightly, but only slightly. He's, he's doing weird stuff with his rook. Um, oh, he's going to attack this pawn twice. But then I could... No, pushing it won't help. Oh, nice play. I don't, I don't think I can defend this pawn. What if I push with check, and then push with check? Can I discover and, and win your rook? No, your king just takes everything. I need to come up with some brilliancy here. Because I foolishly lost my own pawn. This certainly is bad. I've been analyzing that for the last minute or two. Let's throw away this pawn and then check him here. And then see what happens. Well, apparently that happens. Now I'm pinned and losing. Uh, so that was worse than doing nothing. As usual, Chesswiz finds a way to do something worse than doing nothing. It's my new plan, don't tell him. I'm gonna check him and eat this stuff. And then we'll have a pawn race where he clearly is advantaged. Yeah. I'm gonna defend this. The idea is, I don't want to lose this, and also this pawn, um, and, and also this is the pawn I'm going to promote, so I don't, I, there is no also, never mind. There's no point in, in this move. In fact, I, it's, maybe it's bad, but I'm defending this pawn, so that's, that's worth, worthful. That is worthful. Okay, I'm going to take this, no doubt, because I need some free pawns. I think that might have been a mistake. He needs to be promoting here. The faster the better. Oh, oh, never mind, he's doing it. This move is primarily to allow me to promote, secondarily to win a free pawn for free with check. I mean, that sounds nice, but the important part is to promote my pawn. But now with the double attack here, If I push, he takes this. So I need to come up with a great play for, for winning this race, because it's like two moves till he promotes. Um, um, push this pawn. Yep, that's the fastest way. Because this guy guards this. Look at that right there. So he cannot move a rook to this square. He's going to promote this thing so fast. I'm not going to know what hit me. But he has a problem with this move, which is I could take that. Oh, no, I can't, so I'll play back. He's promoting it. No, what do I do? Uh, I'll go this way. It's my best shot, maybe, at stopping the pawn. I can't stop the pawn. I'm stopping the pawn. <laughs> this is helping. Uh, my king is almost close enough to stop the pawn, or at least help. Ah, good play. I'm not stopping the pawn. No, you're so clever. Nicely played. The mistake, of course, was allowing him to take this pawn for free. He had two rook attackers on it, and I couldn't defend it. So that fell apart over there, and that was his fastest promotion. But it's very smart of him to play this pawn push. Um, yeah, very smart. And I can't win this. I can lose, so I'll do that. I'll lose. All right, my shout-out for challenges brought three more challenges, but Lychess Up is the only new player from Russia. The others, I've played their crazies before. So let's try this one. <gasps> I can't even find the kings. I'm like looking for a minute. Where's my king? Where's his king? 
Are there free queens on this board? This does not look comfortable. <laughs> I mean, what's, what in the world? That's all I have to say. Huh? Huh? Oh, and there's rooks as well. Don't miss that. Huh? This is a stupid position. Good thing there's no increment. Somebody's going to run out of time. Two minutes and we'll run out of time. And then I only have time for one more of these. But Rondeps, I'm sure, won't take long. Look, zero plus two. That's the one I've got to go for. Um, he's coming in. He's coming in for a... I've got five attackers. No, three attackers there. Oh, it's, yeah, definitely have to play that. No, I should have played this with check. I could have gotten ahead of queen. No. Oh. That was a mistake. Not winning a free queen is, is definitely a mistake. check and then recapture. How obvious. I should have played that. So the queens are disappearing quickly. Oh, this is starting to look really bad for me. He's bringing quite a bit of power on me. He's got a battery on my knight, and it, which is pinned. This is terrible. This is a horrible position. Oh no. How do I even protect this knight again? I'm so tempted to castle, but I will just lose if I do. I'm going to try it. What? Castling is not allowed? <laughs> After my last game, I really thought I'd be able to. So I'll defend the knight. Uh, I'm looking at this move, actually, which is why I was considering castling. going to be a, a clock game, so I've got to play quickly. Is he going to bring another attacker? Now the knight is unpinned, so I'm fine. This rook might come in handy. Definitely crazy. I have to take that way, so I keep this guarded. And this pinned, hey, this is working out now. This is pinned, two attackers on this knight. Yeah, no defenders. Looks like I'm picking up a knight here. <laughs> yeah, and this is not, I mean, crazy openings was a better episode. Crazy start positions, we just get messes over and over. Okay, so now I take this. And then my knight escapes with this move. It's not escaping. I'm bringing reinforcements. Now it's escaping. Wait, I have to take that one. No, he'd have two attackers here. Oh, and he's also defending it this way. But now this is pinned. So I could remove its only defender and then take it. He has seven something seconds. It's not a lot of time. Knight guarding f7. Oh, got him. Okay, he's throwing stuff away now because he has no time. What an ending. What an ending. Play here. <laughs> oh, you're out of time. Too bad. My queen didn't quite get far enough. That was interesting. So I'll only have three more three more minutes for the rest of the episode. What can we do with the three minutes? Well, we can look at what our viewers have come up with. We've got Rondeps 0 plus 2. Looks like kind of an interesting game with rooks against bishops, but it's too much of a headache for me, so I'm going to abort that. Sorry, no time. Uh, the up end of the episode's coming at the end of the hour, which is in just a minute or two. Let's take a look at Mate Amargo. 30 seconds per side. Knight versus bishop. I'm going to try this because it's just 30 seconds. We'll see who blunders first. This is actually going to be an interesting game here. I'm going to put the knight on a square that it could attack the bishop but not be attacked. Do you know what the point of this game is? It's the clock. The clock is the point. No! I only have a knight so now I can't win. <laughs> it seems like a draw. 
I thought it would be more interesting than this. I thought someone would blunder something and then it would be the end of the game. Like, like more interesting, but apparently it's a draw no matter what. I mean, it's hard to lose that. Lastly, we've got Louisiana back with another interesting position. Unfortunately, I don't have time for this either, but I will play one more game. Board editor. Clear board. Clear board. Where's the clear board? Clear board. Okay, so we'll put a king on. And we'll put pawns like this against black's king. And pawns like this. I want to try something like this. Look at this. Look at this craziness, right? So you can't even stop these pawns. And I'll take black because black obviously has a disadvantage. So this will be the final game of the episode. Should be an interesting pawn crusher. Let's see what happens. And Rondep is here. That is good. And that is bad also because he's just going to win. But let's see what we can do. I'm, I'm driving with multiple pawns. <laughs> Somehow I'm ahead in this race, even though I moved second. Oh, I didn't move my king. Excellent. Excellent. I hope I win. I am awesome for winning as the second player. Rondep deserves to lose this. <laughs> Man, Rondep, you can do better than this. I promote here, and he can't take this pawn. He has to take this pawn. Nope, because now I checkmate him. Rondep, I expected better because you're actually the Rondep who always beats me, and you just lost. So, so he um, or in the same position. But he had to spend a king move, and I didn't spend any king moves until a moment later. And it was really a race. Well, that was uh, that was interesting. You guys can try some custom positions against your friends. You can use that board editor on this website to make any position you want. Unfortunately, you can't change the rules of chess. I think it would be kind of nice to have a piece that moves like a knight and a queen, so it's just like super, 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 super powerful, and then put 18 of those on the board and get a headache. Or some other interesting things like bishops that can jump or rooks that only capture if they jump. That's called the canon in Chinese has, you can make some interesting things that you can't do on this website. So I hope that even more possibilities come in the future. But even what with what we've got, we can we can do some interesting things as you can see. So that was that was fun and you can do that. You can do that. That was that was definitely definitely fun and you and you and you can do that can do that on this website lichess.org. This has been Chesswiz TV. Thanks for watching.